the soldier to try to abolish it. The state should not kill any of its citizens. If I killed somebody, it's against the law. Do we have any opponents to LB 366? The last time the state executed a man was back in 1997. There are 10 inmates currently on death row in Nebraska. A person went to the hospital after a man was attacked at his home in Midtown early this morning. Officers went to a home near South 49th Street and in Howard around 645. Someone attacked the man after he took out the cr trash. There was a fight before the attacker left the area. The victim had minor injuries. Omaha police are now investigating a shooting this month as a murder after a 25 year old victim died. LaRon Rogers was at CHI Creighton since early March. Somebody shot him at a convenience store at 41st and Ames two weeks ago. Police believe he might have been the victim of a robbery. So far, no arrests. Investigators are looking for a white Chevy Impala. Now, your weather alert first forecast. We've had cloudy, breezy conditions today. Right now it is dry from Red Oak to Blair and even Elkhorn, but we're looking at gray conditions. But there is another storm system that we are tracking out across the west. It is a ton of moisture working with it, along with that much warmer air. So we're looking at a very active weather pattern here over the next couple of days. This system will be arriving tomorrow, bringing us a good chance for some rain. For the rest of this evening, though, we're looking at overcast skies, temperatures that will fall into the low 40s. Not really going to change a whole lot here as we go into the overnight hours. I'll show you when the rain, the showers, the drizzle will all be moving in and how much we're expected to see. Here's a look at the stories we're tracking right now. Two men are facing criminal charges following a burglary. Council Bluffs police arrested 22 year old Joseph Smith and 47 year old Chris Miller. Officers went to a report of a garage burglary in the 1600 block of 3rd Avenue last night around 11. One of the suspects came up to officers on scene and asked what was going on. Police recovered more than $3,000 worth of stolen property in the back of a pickup. We have more details on an Omaha based retailer filing for bankruptcy. According to bankruptcy court documents, Gordman's owed hundreds of thousands of dollars in back rent to Omaha area landlords. The company owes $160,000 to the developers of Exarban Village. Jeff Gordman, the great grandson of the Gordman's founder and a Houston based retailer, announced an interest in acquiring Gordman's. Some worry deferred action for childhood arrivals or DACA could be rolled back. The state legislature is currently considering a resolution that would let the feds know the state stands against any measure to cut back DACA. The resolution states Latinos are the fastest growing demographic in the state, making up 10% of Nebraskans. Heads up drivers west of Omaha, police and Valley are investigating a credit card skimming device found at a gas station in town. A worker discovered it inside a gas pump at the Shell station on Reichmuth Road. There had been a problem with the pump. It might have been there for weeks. Anybody who filled up there recently should watch their account. With the Omaha primary election less than two weeks away, one group is helping voters get familiar with the candidates. Three, new, three News Now reporter Andrea Braswell has the details. Andrea. Yes, the Black Men's United Forum gave people the opportunity to ask mayoral and city council candidates about their priorities for the city if elected. Four city council candidates and mayoral candidate Ian McHale took part in Wednesday's forum in North Omaha. I hope we have the opportunity to have a, a, a good conversation about our communities and our, our neighborhoods. People expressed concerns on violence and crime, asking candidates how they plan to address it. So instead of just sending a rookie, to the north side of Omaha in order to police. We're going to have people police the city where they live. Mayoral candidate Ian McHale says North Omaha needs police who are more involved in the community. When there's a situation, there's a scenario, there's a constant presence within the, the neighborhood of, of people and, and officers who actually live there or from there, know everyone in the community. They have a relationship with that particular officer. Voters told the candidates North Omaha needs more economic development. What we need in this community is more legitimate businesses. City Council Member Ben Gray, who faces six challengers in the primary, says he plans to stop the community's lead issue that's affecting children. I'm looking at an ordinance now that will say if you have lead piping that goes to your house from the street, 
you have to let before you can sell your house, you have to let whoever's buying your house know that. It can be done. You just need to be able to have a city that's willing to work with you. Other candidates say affordable housing is an issue and they want to help people keep yeah. their homes. I would like to just continue helping families uh, by running for city council. Other topics discussed today were ways to get more people in North Omaha to the polls to bring the change the candidates are hoping to make. Live in studio, Andrea Braswell, 3 News Now. The deadline has passed for those who want to speak before the Public Service Commission about their opposition to the Keystone XL pipeline. Bold Nebraska was in Lincoln today taking applications to the Nebraska Public Service Commission. About a dozen landowners on the route, Native Americans and others who are against the pipeline came out today. The filing deadline was 5 p.m. And this caught our attention. Somebody damaged a piece of the Dakota Access Pipeline in Iowa. Investigators are looking for a suspect who burned a hole in an above ground valve on the oil line near Oskaloosa. The county sheriff there says a barbed wire fence protects, his, protects it, but that did not stop somebody from getting in. It did appear that either a cutting torch or a blow torch had been taken to the pipeline and a hole was cut through the pipeline. The sheriff's office and the pipeline company Energy Transfer Partners stepped up their presence near the site. Groups like the Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement, which opposes the Dakota Access Pipeline, say property damage is no way to stop it. It could be a record year for the production of biofuel in Nebraska. The state's ethanol board says Nebraska ethanol producers used 31 percent of the state's corn crop in 2016. Officials expect that growth to continue this year. Nebraska's ethanol production pumps billions of dollars into the economy annually and makes a global impact as the second largest ethanol producer in the U.S. The world is shocked and saddened after a terror attack in London. An attacker drove into a crowd of people, then did not stop there. The Omahans who were there and how they are doing tonight. And spring weather returns tomorrow. Warmer, windy, along with the chance for rain across the area. And it looks like it may linger into the weekend. I'll show you how much precipitation we're expected to see. You're watching KMTV 3 News Now with Jennifer Griswold, Craig Negrelli, Weather Alert Team meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin, and sports with Ben Stevens. This is KMTV 3 News Now, live at 6. On the next list, one, make your favorite restaurant food at home. Mm. Two, when dorm style living isn't just for college kids anymore. And three, do your taxes in a snap with these easy apps. Tonight at 6.30 on KMTV3. The Honda Dream Garage sales event means giant savings at the Honda Giant Honda Cars of Bellevue, where it's all about you. Drive a new CRV 269 a month with zero down. This top safety kit comes with Bluetooth, backup camera, and more. Zero down at 269 a month. When you want it all, get it all at the Honda Giant Honda Cars of Bellevue. One small step off Kennedy Freeway, one giant Honda savings store. Every morning when I go to work, I think about what I can do to keep our families safe, expand opportunities for our children to grow and prosper, and create good paying jobs. These are my priorities. This is my vision to move Omaha forward. Mayor Gene Stothard is working hard for our community, adding 56 new police officers, creating new job training opportunities, and fixing the city finances. I'm Gene Stothard. I'm proud of our progress and excited about our future. The Lexus Command Performance Sales Event is here, where the adventure, capability, and versatility will last, but the offers will not. Experience our most elevated SUVs ever with the LX, GX, RX, and NX at the Lexus Command Performance Sales Event. But don't wait. This event ends March 31st. Lexus Plus is the dealership experience redefined, and you'll find that experience at Lexus of Omaha and Lexus of Lincoln. Meet Joe. He's a millionaire. How did he become one? Well, actually... It all started with the buck. One Mega Millions quick pick, please. 
You can't go lower than lowest. Now get the lowest prices of the year on advertised items at Nebraska Furniture Mart. The proof is in the prices on name brand washers and dryers, refrigerators, Beats headphones, this HP laptop too. This Klossner sofa is at its lowest. So is this Ashley Queen bed, Oriental Weaver's area rugs, and granite countertops. With 20-month financing, the store known for low prices is going to its lowest prices of the year on advertised items. Nebraska Furniture Mart. Come to Honda Cars of Bellevue and take advantage of no appointment express service. Terror in London. Five people are now dead, including a police officer, following an attack near Parliament. Twenty others hurt. Police then killed the attacker. This was riveting and sad at the same time. It all started when a car rammed into a crowd of people on Westminster Bridge. It then crashed into the gates of Parliament. People were seen running for their lives. The House of Commons was in session at the time. Lawmakers immediately suspended proceedings and lawmakers stayed inside. We just heard a bang and then we just saw three people in the road. We currently believe there was only one attacker. I'm sure the public will understand us taking every precaution in locking down and searching the area as thoroughly and exhaustively as possible. By the way, UNO confirmed to 3 News Now that four students were in Great Britain during the attack. They are studying in London. All of the students are accounted for and are safe tonight. North Korea launched a missile Wednesday morning, but it did not get very far when it ended in failure. The missile exploded in midair Options just seconds after takeoff. U.S. Pacific Command did detect the launch on the country's eastern coast. President Trump says what's going on in North Korea is disgraceful. He added the country has been behaving very badly, and China has done very little to contain the threat. All right, weather alert meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin is here. And Jenny, it's spring, and it's starting to feel like it. You know, that, that rainy feeling, like it's constantly threatening. Yeah, and it's coming soon. It really is. I mean, today was another cool day, but kind of seasonal for this yeah, time of nice. the year. Tomorrow, though, warmer. Chances for some rain moving in, and then it just keeps picking up as we go into the tail end of the weekend. Start off your weekend. Right now, it's just kind of gray outside. It's been overcast for most of the day after a few little flurries and some snow showers uh, early this morning. Didn't really add up to a whole lot for us and didn't expect that disturbance to do much. However, this storm system out across the west, what we've been talking about all week long, is going to be tapping a lot more moisture, bringing in some much warmer air, and as Craig said, feeling a lot more like spring across the area. This cold front will be arriving, moving through the Wasatch, the Rockies, and it will be taking aim on our area by tomorrow. The potential threat for some severe storms will be over western Nebraska, South Dakota, stretching down to the south over Oklahoma, Texas Panhandle, and even Kansas. Eventually, all of that activity will start moving to the east. Warm front lifts in our area. That will start drawing in moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Dew points will start to rise. Wind speeds will also be increasing from the southeast. Right now, the best chances for more intense thunderstorms, or at least a better chance for some rain and storms developing, won't really occur until Friday afternoon. And then most of it really starts to race out of here pretty rapidly as the front moves in and then we're expecting still the chances for rain lingering into late Friday night, even possibly through around one o'clock on Saturday. So big changes coming our way initially with this front moving in. I'm looking at overcast skies tomorrow. We will have some drizzle, some patchy fog forming probably close to about 10 o'clock in the morning, lingering till the early afternoon. Some drizzle initially, maybe some showers mixing in. Not a whole lot of precipitation for tomorrow, but it will just be kind of gray overcast and and we'll have that feel more like spring out outside and then those storms really start firing up over the central part of the state late tomorrow night and we'll see better chances for rain moving in by Friday. How much will we see? This is just one projected model giving some isolated spots across eastern Nebraska, western Iowa, almost close to about two inches. I think here in the Omaha Metro, at least some of the latest models giving us about a half an inch to maybe an inch in some isolated spots. So we could see some decent precipitation out of this storm system. 50 degrees right now, 